and uh, and say what happened. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, what I loved about the homework, Chad, was uh, basically bringing awareness to different areas, right? And uh, understanding uh, these things, you know, the five mistakes that you talked about that most people, you know, make when it comes to weight loss because those things are not sustainable. That's really powerful. So that was really good. Um, you know, looking at your own, you know, pictures, your your own before pictures, you realize you haven't given your body as much attention and time that it, you know, that it deserves. And, um, you know, looking at the dream body picture, obviously, and inspiring you to know that <clears throat> you have the ability to be able to create that outcome if you were willing to commit to it and uh, take the necessary actions and get the help. It's not rocket science. It's, uh, you know, commitment. And it's about understanding the why behind that commitment. And uh, seems like you have a really good um, system for it. I love the 80-20 of 80, 80 of the time, you know, eating. I love the thyroid deficit thought process. I love the tracking. And um, these are all things that once executed, I think, um, you know, can really create a strong foundation for not just temporary weight loss, but sustained uh, optimal fitness. Yep. And that's what I'm after. I'm all about sustainability because at the end of the day, you could do a 12 week program, but 12 weeks later, more times than not, the person reverts right back. Actually, the percentage is about 2%. And I do, um, I have a year long program at the end of the 90 day program to help promote that sustainability, which right now we have an 85% conversion rate of clients to join that. So um, nice. Yeah, I love I love the sustainability aspect of things. Cool. So this is what I wrote down: awareness to your health and fitness. The before pictures brought you clarity clarity to where you're at. The dream the dream body said, okay, this is where I want to go. It's possible. It gave you hope. And then also just the aspect of commitment. Right. You committing to the homework is your first steps of committing to yourself and your health and fitness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. How you do anything is how you do everything. Right. That's right, man. So my next question to you is. It's, it's Saturday, right? It's Saturday. It's the middle of the day. It's a beautiful day outside. I don't know if it's beautiful where you're at, but it's beautiful here. It's nice. Gorgeous you, here. Yeah, you could be outside, but you're here on this call with me. What made you be here? So as I shared with you, you know, I put the uh, unconscious intention, or I should say the unvocal, non-vocal intention out there that uh, I need, you know, I need help from a coach and a mentor who could help hold me accountable and answer the questions and guide the way, uh, you know, on me achieving the health goals that I've shared with you. And so when you reached out, uh, you know, I pay attention to my gut. And I pay attention to feelings. And, you know, it was like I put that intention out there and, you know, you reached out. And when you ask for help and the universe gives you help and you say no, uh, you know, then you cannot say that, uh, you know, oh, the universe doesn't work. It's that it did, it worked. You just weren't ready to receive or act when it did. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's why I'm on this call. Yeah, I love it, bro. The universe has spoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I put that intention out there, and here here we are. I love it, man. Cool. So I, our purpose of this call, brother, honestly, we're just going to ask you a couple more questions, make sure we're a good fit. And if you think it's a good fit, and if I think it's a good fit, then I'm going to extend you the offer into the health and wealth blueprint, which hopefully you know by now with all the marketing that I do is a program designed to help busy professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners take control of their health and fitness so that they can live their best life. Cool with you? Absolutely. I love it, bro. So the first part of this call, I actually want to give you the three things that you need in order to make this transformation. Do you have paper and pen? I do. Let's do it, baby. Let's take some notes. Let's do it. Here somewhere. Are you in your house right now, or is this your office? Uh, I am at the office, which is uh, which is also a. Uh, let's see if this will work. Uh, studio. Oh, there we go. Um, you know, a little war room. Uh, yeah, yeah. A couple of. Uh, couple of standing desks, whiteboard, you know, just to kind of quarantine myself from society and uh, just really 
just really focus. I love it. You got a good fridge there for prepackaged meals too, which is good. That's right. Fridge, uh, microwave that's there. We have a little kitchen upstairs. Uh, so yeah, resourcefulness is definitely not one of the reasons why yeah. um, I'm going to achieve my health goals. Um, I'm going to go. Tools. Awesome. We're good to go. Cool. So first thing you need is strategy. And there's three parts to this strategy. Let me shut this door because someone's cutting the lawn. No, you're good. All right. So there's three parts to this strategy. The first challenge that I noticed that busy professionals and entrepreneurs are, are coming across is time, right? So my comeback to that is it's not that you don't have the time. It's that you don't have the right strategy that fits into and matches your busy schedule. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Uh, you know, we have more time in the world uh, to do anything. People like uh, Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa changed the world in the 24 hours. It's not about time management. Time can't be managed. It's about personal management. And when something is important to you, according to your priorities and core values, you act on it. So this myth of not having time is bullshit. <laughs> it is bullshit. And at the end of the day with health and fitness, it's like growing a business, bro. It's like, it's not about how much time you spend on health and fitness. It's about what you do with the time. And our most popular time frame for exercise is literally 15 to 25 minutes, five times a week. That's 75 minutes out of your 168 hour week. So there's definitely time in the week. Second part to that is paralysis by analysis, right? Thousands of different workout strategies that you can do. And this can cause you to feel overwhelmed and you're just like, well, fuck it. I'm not choosing any of them because I, I just don't even know where to begin. Or you could be this person, which is the shiny object syndrome person. You pick one, you do it for 30 days, then you do the next one, the next one, and the next one. And you never actually commit to one strategy. And like I said, growing your health is like growing your business. You choose a strategy, you commit to a strategy, and you stack upon it over the course of time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely in sync. Cool. Awesome. Second thing you need is mindset brother so in health and fitness a lot of times you hear like oh you just got to have the willpower you just got to have the consistency to be successful which is good and true but there's something that comes before that and that's you actually believing that you can make this transformation ir because at the end of the day if you don't actually think you can make the transformation you're always going to prove those negative beliefs to be true you're always going to come up with an excuse you're always going to fall off the program if you at the end of the day don't believe in your heart of hearts that you can make this transformation. So once we can actually sh shift the belief about yourself associated with health and fitness, and we can bring in the willpower and the consistency, that's the mindset you need to be successful here. Does that also make sense? Absolutely, it does. Yep. Totally. Bam. Bam. And that brings us to the last point, brother, my favorite, which is accountability. This is the knot that ties the bow together. Because when you have somebody that's equally invested in your own results, and they're not afraid to give you that occasional kick in the ass, which I'm going to be honest, I like to do. <laughs> that's what's going to drive the results at the end of the day. You also agree with that? Absolutely. <clears throat> I think that's the most important and critical part, along with uh, being a part of a community definitely inspires you, uh, without a doubt. But uh, so yeah, you know, I think, yeah, like you said, so time, mindset, clear strategy, accountability, uh, community, that's uh, a power pack punch for a transformation right there. That's it, bro. So my, my next question to you then is looking at those areas, the mindset, the strategy, and the accountability, which one do you think is your biggest challenge and why? So between mindset, strategy, and accountability. Uh, so, so my, my personal brand is called, uh, seven figure strategist. I specialize in strategy and I specialize in thinking, specialize in formulating, blueprinting, architecting, and planning. So strategy is definitely not the issue. That's the strength. Um, mindset, definitely an issue. Um, you know, last so many years, uh, pretty much all I do is just smoke a lot of weed and work. Uh, that's pretty much it. I like and, your honesty. <laughs> I mean, I as, if I if can't, can't be honest to you, you know, I'm not doing myself a favor. So, you know, drinking's never been a big thing. I do you know, occasionally have a few beers here and there, not pay attention, uh, you know, but drinking, I care less about. Smoking's always been something that um, I've always used as a uh, comforter. With that comes um you know uh 
you know, eating uh, in not the best manner, eating outside, eating junk food, eating sweet foods, eating carby foods, eating, you know, drinking soda, like all this stuff that I absolutely know is not good and justifying it because, you know, I had a tough day and I could smoke a joint and, you know, eat a cheeseburger and I, that's the least I can do because I worked so hard today and, man, I got so many stresses. And so without a doubt, mindset needs work. Uh, they need to clearly realize that, you know, I uh, want to live long and that means I need to eat and work out and exercise and, you know, choose a healthy lifestyle. Um, the longer I live, the bigger impact I can create um, in this world. Uh, yes. You know, one of my mentors told me and he's spot on and you're welcome to use this moving forward. Most entrepreneurs spend the first half of their life destroying their health to make a ton of money and the second half of their life using that money to fix their hand. I do not want to be in that situation because I'm consciously aware of the trap I'm setting myself up for. So then you you know, break without even. a doubt, that's right. Yeah. And I've done a lot of work on mindset, like in other areas of mindset, I can talk to you, you know, for a long time, but when it comes to mindset for health, I give myself a D, um, you know, and that's the truth. Accountability. I, you know, I don't have any accountability at all from anywhere, from anyone. I was raised by a single mother. Um, you know, my mom and dad, uh, divorced when I was born, never met my dad, never talked to him. Nobody held me accountable in life for shit. I do what I want, when I want, I justify it. Um, I'm a one life path in numerology. Uh, I lead, I push through, I take charge, I make decisions. Um, and, you know, I don't have accountability. So, uh, so that's, that's where I am with those three things. Awesome. So with the mindset and accountability being your two biggest challenges, which one's number one? I would say that you know, you and I could work on mindset over time and, and improve, but ultimately does go back to accountability. If I'm supposed to do something today, I don't do it. Nobody holds me accountable. I could have the best mindset and strategy in place. I'm still not going to do it. So I, I think totally agree. I would say accountability would be ultimately in anything, whether we're talking about health coaching, fitness coaching, money coaching, business, all the same stuff. Um, I'd say it comes down to holding yourself accountable. But yeah, if you have somebody else holding you accountable, that's good too. Yeah, I think it's even better because then you're letting me down. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, well, you don't want to let me down, bro. <laughs> no, we, we do more to not let others down. Yep. And that's just the truth of how we're wired as social creatures. So, yeah, definitely I do not want to let Coach Chad down. Let's go, bro. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. So biggest challenge then is going to be accountability first because once we get that handled and we get the ball rolling, the <clears> mindset <throat> will come and the strategy will fall into play. Yeah. The mindset part, like I said, that's something we're going to have to work on over the course of time, but really it's just starting to view health as an investment, right? And we kind of talked about, or, or you touched upon one of the three reasons why I personally think health and fitness is important for entrepreneurs. One is actually, there's four reasons. One is energy because energy sells. Two is confidence, right? Confidence within yourself because that sells as well. And then mm -hmm. three is body image because let's be honest, there's a reason people say don't judge a book by its cover because that's exactly what we fucking do. <laughs> we, hey, it's, it's the truth. It's uh, exactly what we do. Within, you know, seconds of uh, looking at another person uh, with, with, without a doubt. So besides body image, what were the other two things that you said, Chen? Energy, because energy attracts and energy sells. Quite honestly, nine times out of 10, when someone joins my program, they say it's because they like my energy. <laughs> that's just... Yeah. It's just the honest, it says the honest truth. And then the second one is confidence within yourself because people want to be around other confident people, right? Third is that body image standpoint, right? Where it's actually, holy crap, I have a body that resembles trust, that resembles discipline, and yeah. people, people buy into that. And four is longevity because if you're not alive long enough, you're not going to create the impact or the income that you truly want to make. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Those, are, those are the four reasons that I came up with. So you could write those down as a little nugget. Awesome. Is there any other challenges that we haven't touched upon? Um, no. I love it. All right. Let's get into the next question then. So on a scale of one to 10 IR, how motivated are you to make this change? One being Chad, I don't even want to be on this fucking call with you, which I hope is not the case, right? And then a 10 is Chad, I need to make this change in my life. Where do you fall? Yeah, I'd say, you know, a seven to an eight. Um, I know I need to do it, but I'm also scared to fully commit because I'll let myself down. I'll let you down. I'll let others down. I'm afraid of failing, um, afraid to be overly optimistic, which I am as a person. 
Uh, and so as much as I'd want to say 10, the truth is, you know, more around seven. Cool. So that scaredness right there, that's your average talking to you. That's your average saying, let's just stay here because it's comfortable and it's scary to get and step into that new you. So putting that aside, taking the average, taking the scared and putting it aside, how, let me rephrase the question, how important is making this change to you on that scale? Ah, uh, 10. Uh, absolutely. 10. Love it. So let's dive into this then. Why is it a 10 level of importance for you? So just became a father, you know, a month ago. And Congratulations. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Um, you know, two of my companies, even though we're still really, you know, dialing in the profitability gauge, but, uh, you know, two of my companies – uh, together collectively, we did 3.3 million in sales last year. Uh, completely awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's after launching um, 27 companies to date in the last 13 years. So, you know, I have given uh, business and money and uh, my work and my profession uh, everything I've had. And as a result, after um, you know, 10 years of being in digital marketing full time. Last year, we were able to crack the seven figure code. One of our Shopify stores, you know, we did seven figures in about 35 days. Wow. Uh, so, you know, once that happened, it was kind of like a huge weight lifted off my shoulder where it was like, okay, I can do this once, I can do it 10 times, I can do it 100 times, and I can put a checkbox next to it that the trajectory that I'm on with my business and finances and where things are going in 19, 20, 21, 21, uh, I'm all set. I just have to, you know, put in the work and keep hustling and keep growing, keep going. Uh, however, that is not the case when it comes to my health. And, you know, profession, health, spirituality, your relationships, um, you know, those four right there are, are the cornerstones of life. Um, and so I just focused on finances, but I knew that I have to address the other three uh, and so, you know, if I can get uh, one more of those, you know, check boxes next to health, I know that I can get the other two, spirituality and relationships and, and that personal, uh, you know, support network also to fully like fall in place. And then now it's a, you know, cohesive, four-legged, uh, stable life. I love it, man. And it, and it starts with you, right? And I think it's cool that you noticed that because... Like I said, it starts with you and your health, because if you're not at your peak physical best, how can you start working on relationships and spirituality with other people outside of yourself if you don't feel the best about yourself first? So I think it's cool right. that you're like already noticing that you need to fix your health before focusing on those other two cornerstones, which is cool. I yeah, think. exactly. Like I, I, I told myself, and it's a justification, Chad, that you know, once I'm balling that I can get in shape in 90 days because I can focus and put the work in and there's no mystery to it. I just have to put the work in. And so I justified mediocrity when it comes to health by having that approach. However, I can no longer use that approach because uh, business and work and, you know, anything with my profession is doing, is doing amazing. Um, and I'm having a hard time because of, you know, drinking beers at night, smoking weed, the next morning, you know, not kind of being in my, you know, best um, energy, you know, eating a, you know, not the healthiest breakfast, eating, you know, Pakistani food, um, you know, fried piece of bread with some tea with, you know, a fried egg. Uh, and so my point in that is, you know, by me not caring for my body, I'm not really in a place where I can meditate or want to meditate or be in that spiritual zone so you know one of my secret intentions here is to use my health as a trigger to also really create that spiritual foundation um you know meditating daily and uh knowing also what i need to do um spiritually and having those three things locked in you know spiritual physical financial uh you know relationships are just a reflection of who i am and the world within me i can only give to others what i have within me so i get those things dialed in you know the relationships fall into place um on, on their own and i'm doing okay in that arena it's not like things are falling apart you know i'm married right, right. business partners you just uh, had a kid yeah i just had a kid everything's going great 
So, but you know, I'm committed to excellence. I'm committed to being the best. It's not okay to just settle and be okay at something, whether it's health, spirituality, or for that matter, business. Playing all out. That's what it is. Absolutely. In every area of life, by, but focusing energy into one. So I use, you know, profession and focus energy there for years. Um, but that's not sustainable. You know, that's a wheel that's not balanced. Yeah, this is what I wrote down for your whys. I wrote down, you're a father now, so you got to do this for your family, which is awesome. Second thing I wrote down is what your mentor told you, which is a lot of entrepreneurs spend the first 20 years focusing on their business and then the last 20 years focusing on their health because they neglected it, right? So that's the second key component I wrote down. The last is you said you're committed to excellence, right? And that, and that doesn't just mean being an awesome businessman. It means being an awesome freaking person who has an awesome business, right? That's so. Right. I think that's super badass. Is there any other reasons why you would consider yourself a 10 as far as needing and wanting to make this change? One of the biggest to prove to myself that I can do it, mm -hmm. that I can put my mind to something that I can achieve it, whether it's my health, whether it's a business project, whether it's spirituality. And I still have inklings of doubt because I'm not doing it. So yeah. for, to prove to myself that I can commit to something, do it, do the you know 90 day program, graduate into the 12-month the program, stick to it a year out, two years out, and uh, make that transition, you know, it, I know it will open up uh, a whole new reality to me that isn't open because I've chose to keep myself, uh, you know, quiet behind the scenes, getting high, you know, working all day behind a computer rather than, you know, being out there and putting myself out there, which I was born to do. Yeah. I mean, and I hear this a lot too, that a lot of entrepreneurs feel like a phony if they're not playing all out in all areas of their life. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I, I purposely myself did not call myself seven figure strategist until not for a client, but for one of my own businesses, I did seven figures and being authentic is very important. I will never, one of the biggest reasons I haven't really pushed my own personal brand is because I want to show that. You know, I can make myself a self-made millionaire. And if I can become a self-made millionaire, I feel a lot more authentic and congruent getting on stage and saying, who here would like to become a millionaire? I think I could show you a thing or two. So, you know, from that regard, being, you know, really healthy is very important because then I can, as a coach, tell someone and they'd listen to me maybe about their business because also they see that I have spirituality in check you know, health in check. Um, and so it gives you more credibility um, to who you are, you know, by being in, in uh, by, by being really fit. So I hope I, I somewhat uh, answered your question. You did a hundred percent, bro. I got your clear wise down. So now what we need to do is we start, we need to start creating this, what this looks like for you. So that obviously starts with goal setting. So let's get super clear on what this needs to look like for you in the next three months. And you know how I like to set goals. I set them tangibly. So an actual numerical value that we could work towards and then intangibly, for example, it'd be like, I want to feel this way, or I want to do this certain thing that I wasn't able to do before. So let's start with that tangible goal. What does that look like for you in the next three months? Um, in the next three months, for me to be at 170 pounds with a noticeably better um, fat and muscle ratio, right? Mm. So not just... So, you know, most, most people I think would say, okay, I just want to lose weight. Okay. So let's get more specific there. What I want to do is while I'm, you know, getting lean and um, getting rid of fat, which I think this morning I'm at 194. So it's about 24 pounds, but not just also losing fat, but also, um, you know, putting on more muscle in the right sustainable way based on ratios that you think you know, are optimal for me. Gotcha. Okay, cool. 24 pounds is a perfect target. Uh, our clients are, av are averaging about 20 to 30 pounds within those 90 days as far as weight loss goes. And body fat percentage is going to be a metric that we definitely touch on. And um, we're going to need to get you a scale that, that can help you measure that. There's also, there's an all-encompassing scale, which I actually really like. It does weight, it does bone density, it does muscle mass, it does water percentage, and it also does body fat percentage. So literally it gives you the whole breakdown of your body, which is super, nice. super cool. And it costs like 30 bucks, so it's good. All right. That's insane. Yeah, if you want to send me the link for that. 
Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's in our membership site. We'll go over that later on. All right. So tangible goal. We got that down. You want to lose about 25 pounds. You want to get the body fat percentage down. You want to increase the muscle mass. Perfect. Love it. Super clear and specific. Next thing we need to know is the intangible goal. So this would be, for example, these are some things I typically hear. I want to be able to play with my kid. Like I don't want to like have to sit out after 30 seconds of basketball or something. Uh, I want to be able to go on the hike again. I want to be able to go scuba diving with my wife again. I want to be able to have better sex with my wife. I've heard that one before. Um, I want to be able to go on runs again. I want to be able to feel like I was when I w was playing sports as a kid. I don't know if that's your case, but those are some things that I hear. So let's set an intangible marker, like an actual something that you're physically doing, but we can't put a number on it that you would like to achieve. Yeah, absolutely. I'd lo love to you know, put on a suit and a uh, tailored suit. So 90 days, we order a new tailored suit and uh, you know, that I put that on and uh, you know, doesn't have a protruding belly and uh, I got a picture for you. I'm going to listen, but I want to send you this picture. Yeah, for sure. The, one of my buddies, um, I shouldn't say buddy, a guy that I know in the uh, real estate uh, coaching space, his name is Cody Sperber. And I just saw Cody, uh, you know, do a webinar and uh, he's, you know, standing and uh, in, in the video studio and I mean, this dude is you know, looking sharp. You know, he's skinny. He's got a tailored suit on. He's freaking selling you some real estate. I Jeez. mean, this, he's on point. Uh, and so I want that feeling that I know Corey had in that moment as, you know, he was recording that video. Yeah. So the picture I just sent you, it's so yeah. cool that you said that. I got this from one of my clients, Sean, the other day. He was yeah. like, dude, it's been three years since I've it says three months there, like three months ago when he started the program, he couldn't button it up. But when I got him on the phone, he told me it's been three years since he was able to wear that suit again. And uh, he said he, he was able to present a, an award when he was uh, on stage wearing that suit. And he said he just felt so tall and confident wearing it. And I was just like, oh, that's so cool. Um, so you saying that, it's super cool because I can relate with that. Also, when you were just telling me that story, I was like, you have such a great voice for speaking. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I was born born to speak and inspire um at a global scale not in a small way and i've purposely stayed quiet and behind the scenes because i know in my heart of hearts when i'm ready i'll know and this conversation is a domino in that chain and um it is my you know obligation to share mm -hmm. and i haven't i haven't done much sharing i've done applying a lot of applying um and i'm itching to share. And part of that is me launching in the next 90 days, you know, brand called seven figure lab. And basically what we do is we help entrepreneurs get to seven figures. And the way we do that is we have a 21 step blueprint. And so after me launching, you know, uh, however many businesses, 27 businesses to date, um, I finally am able to put essentially everything together um, in a way that if you're a startup entrepreneur, I have a step-by-step -step process on exactly what you need to do in order to hit seven figures. And I just shared that blueprint with you. And so. uh, yeah, for sure. And so, and so, you know, for me to be able to put on a suit and, you know, look sharp and I'm going to find the exact like, because it's important to visualize. I'm going to find the exact one <clears throat> I'm referring to so you can, um, you can also visualize it. And, you know, to be able to put on a seat, to be able to powerfully, you know, in a very good way, feeling good, you know, share with other entrepreneurs this seven-figure blueprint um, and, uh, you know, be, be out there and promoting my brand and promoting my business while I'm feeling good about myself right now, I got to tell you, uh, I'm not really feeling uh, like, you know, I'm ready to step in front of the public. I don't feel good about myself. I'm kind of like down, you know, I've, you know, and, and uh, so, you know, I hope that this is a trigger to then spark up other things that just kind of not just get me in shape, but get me out of this shell and sharing which is what I was, you know, born to do. I was just going to ask you, do you think that you not focusing on your health has held you back from stepping into this version of you? Absolutely. W w without a doubt. By me choosing to act in a mediocre manner 
when it comes to my health, I'm giving myself the unconscious permission to be mediocre in my life. Mm. And, you know, by me prioritizing my health and, you know, uh, taking it very seriously and, you know, I'm willing to uh, stop smoking, stop drinking. Like this is a part of a bigger plan. It's not just about health, but it's about really kind of shifting the energies in my life. Uh, you know, I really believe that it can start a domino effect that can, you know, lead to huge things, not just losing 24 pounds. Yep. Uh, I was just going to say, imagine all the lives you aren't changing right now because you haven't lost just 24 pounds. <laughs> you know? and, I, and I told myself, like, oh, I can do this in 90 days. But uh, I've been telling myself that for 15 years, 10 years. I love it, man. So with that, come in, in 10 days, in, in 10 years. Yeah. And, and with that said, I mean, let's continue strategizing around this. So we already have the goal, right? 194 currently, you want to be 170, lower body fat percentage, more muscle. You want to be able to wear that tailored suit, speak on stage, change people's lives and really promote your own personal brand. So what do you feel like you need in order to make this goal an actual reality? Yeah, great question. Uh, having, you know, if you notice, I gave you a blueprint, right? So if you asked me how you wanted to launch uh, a business, uh, I would take you through that blueprint, right? And I know it's a proven blueprint because I generated a million in 35 days with it last year. So I know it works and it's based on principles. Strategies come and change over time principles always remain the same. So one is, you know, having the blueprint, having the system, um, you know, essentially that guides me through it. So I know you have the health and wealth blueprint. So I'm curious to see you know, what that looks like. And, you know, by having, like you said, the proper, uh, you know, mindset, uh, having the proper uh, strategy, having, um, a system when it comes to dieting, exercising, and monitoring calories, um, having accountability and having, you know, community, the very things we've been talking about. Uh, and also entrusting you in a sense that I'm sure you've done this for other people. And 80% of all of this stuff is all common. 10, 20% may change from person to another, maybe even less than 10, 20%, especially when it comes to our body. It's less. <laughs> it's even less, 90, 95%, let's say. So yeah. just really taking your system and, like taking my independent dominant energy, moving it to the side uh, and trying to say, oh, I know about health or I know what to do or I know I can get in shape and telling myself some BS story, moving all that aside and really saying, okay, I'm going to listen to Coach Chad. He has a system. I'm going to put the work in and hopefully with that accountability that I'll follow through and not and by investing in coaching that I'll follow through because money's on the line. Um, and, uh, you know, my wife, she's also another, another why to add to the list. Uh, my wife, uh, she'd also love to get in a lot better shape um, because, you know, she just had the baby. She's going to go back to work next week. Uh, she'd love to, um, you know, be in great shape. And she's a, uh, she's a physician. Uh, she's a very smart girl. And, uh, you know, so uh, if I can inspire her and we can kind of start working on it together, I can share some of the stuff with her. Um, you know, is also uh, encouraging and, and, and would be a, if, you know, her and I are kind of into it together, then I have even more, um, more on the line. Yeah. You're a catalyst to her success as well. So with the system, so what you need is a system for weight loss, diet, and also exercise. You need the right mindset and to work on the mindset throughout this system and process. You need accountability and community, right? So yeah. one thing I want to know, because I could check all those things off the list, is I want to know what accountability looks like for you. And we're going to dive into later on what I do, but I want to know first off what it looks like for you. Imran, you said you were going to work out five times a week, did you? Yep. Okay. So we're talking about very simple accountability. Yep. You said you were going to do something. Did you do it? Oh, you didn't do it. Why not? Are you really committed? Are you really serious? Or is this some kind of a story you're telling yourself? You want this, but you don't really want this because you're not willing, you're willing to put the work in. Uh, so accountability could be as simple as me going to a spreadsheet, putting an X on a, you know, cell that said I worked out today. And if you don't see that happen by six o'clock in the day or whatever, or the next day, you reach out and say, Imran, what happened? Uh, 
So that would be accountability to me. I love it. Cool. And I'll just tell you what we do so that you have a better understanding. So you have open access to me, 24 seven access to me. You can reach out to me whenever you want. When you have a question, my policy is I get back to you within those 24 hours, right? Second part to that, and this is mandatory, is you and I, we meet individually on a weekly basis once a week and we're breaking down. Did you get those workouts in? Did you do the tracking? Did you do the nutrition stuff, right? We're really trying to figure out what were your challenges in the week and then we help you game plan and overcome those challenges for the following week. And then in addition to that, obviously you have the community, which we're about to talk about in a minute here. And then once a month, you, myself, and the rest of the community meet as a group. You share your wins. I do some teaching. You present your challenges. We help everybody overcome their challenges as a group. Does that make sense? It does. Mm -hmm. I love it, bro. Cool. So let's talk about that community. So there's a, there is a reason why I do this very long process, right? Because I want to make sure that the person I'm bringing into the community is actually a positive asset to the community. Because if I'm bringing in somebody and they're just, for a lack of a better term, a piece of shit or just a negative person, it's not actually going to help the experience for everybody within that community. Absolutely. My, yeah. So my question to you, IR, is do you see yourself being a positive part of this community? Yes. I love it. And how so? By being myself. Hey, there we go, bro. <laughs> Excuse me one minute. I'm going to transition to a separate room. Yeah, for sure. For sure. As, the, as this room is no longer open. <laughs> You're good. And I can actually ask you the next question while I'm going downstairs. So next question I have for you is, do you see yourself being an action taker over the course of the next three months? Because like we talked about numerous times on this call, we could all talk about the results that we want and why we want to get them. But at the end of the day, it's results that drive action. So I want to know, do you see yourself being an action taker over the course of the next three months towards these goals? Absolutely, yes. Woo, let's go, bro. With that said, then I feel like I could tell you exactly what's in the program. Are you ready for that? Absolutely. Well, let's get it, bro. So the health and wealth blueprint is really broken down into three major parts. What those major parts are, are accountability, community, and blueprints. And let me know when you have those three things down. I do. Cool. So let's break down the accountability. We've already talked about it, but we can just go over it one more time. So you have open access to me, 24 seven access to me. Whenever you have a question, you could reach out to me individually. I get back to you within the 24 hours. Second part of that is you and I meet once a week on an individual call. We break down your challenges from the week prior and we help you overcome those challenges for the next week. Once a month, the first Wednesday of every month, you, me, the rest of the community meet on a big group call. We all share wins to create momentum. I do some teaching and then also we have a breakthrough session on challenges. Does that make sense? Yep, absolutely. Woo! Awesome. Second part, community. Two parts to this, Facebook group, Facebook group chat. What we do in there is we share wins, once again, to continue to create momentum. We ask questions. Hey, guys, I'm really struggling here. What have you done to overcome this? And we give back. Hey, guys, I've lost three pounds this week. This is what I did. It's really been working for me. Just want to share it with the rest of the community to help you guys out. Make sense? Mm -hmm. yep. Awesome. And then there's also, <laughs> you can tell I'm a goofy guy, right? So in the group chat, a part of it is that we like to have fun. Why? Because if there's no element of fun in health and fitness, my God, is it going to be boring? <laughs> so we like to mess around with each other. We bust each other's balls. We post funny gifs. And really, we just have a good time because that's what a good community does. Make sense, Absolutely. too? Absolutely. I love it. And then the blueprints part. So we have our nutritional blueprint, which, as you know, is the 80-20 rule to create that flexibility. Because if I told you that you can never have the foods that you like again, it's really not sustainable. You may get results for 30, 60, 90 days, fuck, maybe even a year. But eventually you're going to say, I want a bite. You have a bite and you don't just have a bite. You have the whole freaking thing and some. Then you get in your head. You say, I knew I couldn't do this. Health and fitness isn't for me. You start blaming yourself instead of the strategy. And then you quit. Does that make sense? Absolutely, it does. Yeah, that's, yep. that's all. Awesome. And then the number one thing that drives weight loss is being in a caloric deficit. And there's no better way of actually knowing if, if you're in a deficit than tracking it, right? Because in sales, right, you need to know how many calls you need to get on a week in order for you to get X return. Same thing in weight loss. You need to know how many calories you're consuming to lose X amount of weight per week. So it's basically the same thing as business. It's just simple math. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely it does. Love it. Cool. Second part of that is your exercise plan, which is all based around the time that you want to give and the resources that you have. So if you only have five to 10 minutes, cool. 15 to 25 minutes, cool. 
30 to 45 minutes or 45 to 60 minutes, whatever it is, I'm gonna create a plan for you, also based off of the resources you have, if you have access to a gym, or if you just have access to your body weight. Also make sense? Got it, mm -hmm. yep. Cool. Last part of that is we have a membership site, which is essentially just a step-by-step -step process on the things you need to do within your health and fitness in order to take control of this area of your life. Mm -hmm. Got it. Cool, brother. So dude, is there any reason why you can't get the results with the stuff that we're providing? No. Let's go, man. And is there yeah. anything else you feel like you need? No, no. Uh, no, I just, I need to get, you know, I want to get clear on, you know, your packages, uh, one-on-one -on -one group. And you mentioned the three month, a 12 month. Um, I have a very good idea of what's included, uh, what comes with it. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Anytime, bro. Anytime. Yeah. And we'll go over that at the end of the call. So next thing I want to know, brother, is on a scale of one to 10 from everything that I just told you about the program, how would you rate it so far? One, Chad, it's absolute shit. <laughs> and then 10, Chad, it sounds good to me. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I would put it at uh, a seven. Uh, the reason why I say that is because you've done a really good job putting everything together. The reason why I didn't give it a 10 was because then there'd be no room for improvement. Uh, so there's always room for improvement. So, um, you know, seven or eight. So you have like, obviously you've done this, you've done this for yourself, you're in shape, uh, you've helped other clients, uh, you're part of a community. So you've got the system down. Uh, I'm sure because I'm committed to constant and never ending improvement that things can be improved, but the system that you have, can it help me achieve my goals? Absolutely. Cool. So I love that. And I always love feedback when you're in the program, you can give me all the feedback you want. Cause I'll immediately make the changes. Um, but what would make it a 10 for you out of what you already know so far? Yeah. So, uh, really honestly, uh, just, uh, you know, if you notice I sent you my blueprint, right. And I could talk about each one of those items for about a day. So I could spend 21 days explaining that blueprint to you. Um, so I would love to, when the timing is right, uh, you know, see your blueprints when it comes to nutrition, the, you know, whatever app uh, that we're using to do the caloric uh, tracking um, and your exercise plan. And I'm sure that they're perfect because as long as you follow a plan, that's more important than uh, which plan you're following. So whether you do X, Y, Z, they all have merits um, and good things in them that make it work. Uh, whether you're talking about low carb, keto, uh, and interm intermittent fasting. And so I think if, you know, I just had maybe a one pager or two page, a three page, um, most likely, you know, once I'm a paid client um, and I can see, okay, here is the process being a left brain analytical person um, and be able to see, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, I think would really help me see this as a 10. Yep. So that process is all labeled out in the membership site. <laughs> cool. cool. I figured. Yep. And then it's also broken down on the orientation call as well. Just to awesome. reiterate. Awesome. <laughs> is it's it a 10 now? <laughs> yes. It is. Okay. I love it, brother. I love it. Cool. <laughs> So let's do a little summary of everything that we talked about so far today. So biggest challenges, once again, are mindset and accountability. Accountability being number one, mindset being number two. On a scale of one to 10, as far as your necessity and in, in a level of importance to make this change, you said it's a 10. Reason being, you're a, new, you're a new father, right? You just had a baby one month ago, which is fucking awesome. And I think it's cool that you're actually prioritizing your health for him, which is super cool. You got two big companies and you said you've spent the earlier half of your life focusing on building those and not so much focusing on building yourself. And you don't want to spend the rest of your life doing that. So you're trying to nip this in the butt. Now you want to play all out in all areas of your life. You want to actually prove to yourself that you can do it. That's going to add an element of confidence. And also you're doing this for your wife so that she could be, so that you could be a catalyst to her success in health and fitness as well. Okay. And then next, in the next three months, you're currently 194 pounds. You want to lose 24 pounds and get down to that 170. Lower your body fat percentage, build up the muscle. You also want to be able to put on that nice tailored suit. <laughs> get on stage. Shared the picture with you. Awesome. Get on stage. Let me look at it really quick. Get on stage and transform other people's lives. Because what we talked about so far, as this loads, look at that, bro. 
So you got Mr. Cody at his studio. Uh, it's just a random frame. Uh, and uh, yeah, looking, you know, sharp and ready to take your money surgically <laughs> your money from your wallet. I love it. I love it. I'm dressed uh, a little more casual than that. <laughs> but, uh, you are all I, know. I love it, bro. Cool. So yeah, that intangible goal is, is really speaks volumes because you've told me that you're holding back in your life where you could really be making a greater impact, but your health and fitness is preventing you from actually doing that, right? Because you said you're not comfortable getting on stage with yourself yet because of your image and probably also the way that your image makes you feel. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So slight, slight variation. Uh, am I comfortable getting on stage? Fuck yeah. With my eyes closed anytime in front of any audience and talk about anything anywhere in the world. Uh, do I feel good about myself and the way I look? No. Gotcha. Yep. And that's what I was alluding to. Not saying that you can't speak because I know you yeah. can't speak. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure I tell, I, I communicate the proper message to my unconscious that I don't have any qualms about getting on stage. It's that I don't, I don't feel like a Cody. Mm. Uh, you know, where I feel like, oh, I'm on top of my, you know, health. And of course, as my finances improve more and more, it gives me more credibility unconsciously. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, making sure my brain properly processes what it hears. I love it, bro. Cool. And what you need to make this happen, a system for weight loss, you need the right mindset, you need accountability and check-ins and you need a community. Correct? Absolutely. I love it, bro. I guess once again, I take some good notes, huh? <laughs> yes, you do. You do a good job. I love it, bro. Cool. So I got two final questions for you, IR. Are you ready for those? Yes. Let's hit it. Why should I accept you into the health and wealth blueprint? Because I will only elevate what you are up to. And uh, considering that I'm a public speaker and about to go on building a huge community, it'd be very easy for me to say, hey, uh, while you're building your business, make sure you don't destroy your health. Talk to my buddy, Chad, and uh, he got you covered. Uh, so I know that I can, um, you know, uh, by getting your help, achieve my personal goals, uh, in turn, be able to impact more lives, uh, in turn, help elevate the community and grow the community by sending people over. I love it, man. We should speak on stage together. <laughs> we, we will. We will. I was thinking in my head when I saw your uh, presentation, that uh, when I do my first event, that it'd be good to have you there because, yeah, uh, again, you, you know, that quote about entrepreneurs spending the first half to do the second half, uh, that message needs to be heard. Most entrepreneurs in most industries are fat and out of shape, and um, as, especially as they get older and older. And, uh, you know, you, you listen to somebody, you know, without judging that person, they still have love for that person in their soul. Um, when, when somebody is fit, um, you give them more attention and credibility because you see that person has um, restraint and discipline yep. in yep. their personal life. Their, their body speaks to their own trust within themselves, which is cool. That's right. That's and I right. love it. Ab absolutely. And my last question to you, IR, is how can I be so sure that you're going to take action towards these goals? Because... Uh, when you reached out to me and to this point, you see how I've acted without hesita hesitation, even the slightest. And if you look at my course of action since your first message to now, you can tell I'm not fucking around. I get right to the point, move forward when I know I want something. And uh, hence uh, the way I acted and made sure to do my homework and committed and uh, played along uh, so that we could arrive at this point. I love it, bro. Let's go. Awesome, dude. So as, as I'm reviewing your application and I'm thinking about the type of client that I want to bring into the health and wealth blueprint, I have to say, drum roll, unfortunately, you make an excellent fit <laughs> to join us in the program, bro. Let's go. This is the part where you're supposed to celebrate. Give me a little, give me a little excitement, man. I love it. Woo! Bam! Let's go. Baby. Let's go. Yeah, I love, uh, I love uh, the, this part. Yeah. Oh, that's health, well. And prosperity. Yeah, hey. that's good. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's some cultish stuff right there. I love it. Yeah, I'm a cult, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Russell Brunson talks about it. Culture is mm. based out of cult. Uh, you know, so I, I think it's about the culture. It is. It is, bro. I love it, man. So cool, dude. A lot of people apply. I have to deny because they just don't seem as invested in their own self and their own improvement. But that's not the case for you, brother. So would Do you, you like really? to join us? 
So Chad, out of the last 10 people, honest answer, how many did you decline? Uh, in the past five, I declined one, accepted four, but all four of them were really, really good. I'm, I'm really, really good at prospecting and knowing, and usually I deny people on the 10 before the 60, but on the 60, I've denied uh, out of the last five, 20%. Interesting. Interesting. And yeah. you felt that that person, A, was not ready or B, would not be the proper addition to the community? Those two? Was, was not committed. They answered that they were between a five and a 10. And when I reframed the question like I did for you and you told me it was a 10, they still were between that five and 10. So I let them go because I only want to work with level 10s. I only want to work with people that are actually invested in the results. Love it. Awesome. Yep. Cool, so, man. Yeah. So there's only one other question I have. Yeah. So uh, before I sign up as a client or after I sign up as a client for that matter, uh, I'd love to know, uh, you know, this uh, system that you've created, uh, the two call close, the questioning, uh, what, um, how were you able to put that together? Uh, is this something you created on your own? You took pieces of different things. Uh, I'm curious because it's very, uh, very well put together. and It's very personal. You know, yeah. you're right there, you're doing it. And I, I uh, understanding and being a student of marketing and psychology, uh, admire it. It's a really good job there. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So um, I guess I'll just give you my quick little rundown of my story. So Please. four years ago, I wanted to become an online fitness coach. And I thought that I was going to be able to do it in three months, right? I was like, oh, I could do this. Like, I could totally freaking do this. Um, and I, I didn't. Right. I didn't. And, and I spent about three years suffering. Like I didn't have any money. I was dirt poor. I was driving $800 cars. I was taking water bottles, dispensing them in the machine to get enough money back to invest back into the business and whatnot. And I came to my conclusion that, you know what, I, I need to stop putting my ego before my results. and I need to invest in the coach. So I came up with $6,000. Uh, I got a side job as a waiter. I sold a bunch of shit in my room, my bike, my clothes, headphones, headsets, watches, whatever it may be. Um, even on Christmas Eve, I went out and blew leaves to actually get enough money to invest into this coach, which wow. I only put $2,000 down. He accepted me still. Um, then I had to pay the remaining $4,000 off. And I even had debt collectors come after me because I was very, very broke in that time. But I didn't get any results with my first coach because I still wasn't open enough to receive coaching. So three months go by and uh, I'm still trying to figure it out on my own. And I didn't. So I was like, shit, I got to invest in another coach. And at this time, I've had more... Uh, I had more flexibility and more time to work at my waitering job and also my side job as a in-person trainer as well. And um, it was another $6,000 program, put $2,000 a month was the contract that we signed. And uh, within four months time of working with him, I was able to go full time in this business. And then ever since uh, I've joined, I've had a 63% increase in my business um, because I was very open and, and this sales process i mean as you've seen i don't even have to look in the script anymore like i just know what it is because i think it just matches my personality mm -hmm. um thank you for sharing that i appreciate that a lot um would you be willing to if you're comfortable share the name of the coaches just so i can make a mental note not for me to share it with anyone else yeah so um i'm sure he won't care and then this is on recording uh his name is sterling griffin and he helps online fitness coaches uh, grow their business specifically. So I don't know who that is. Sterling was the guy that helped you succeed. So for, not the first one, but the second one. Uh, the first, yeah, he was the second one. Yeah, Sterling Griffin. Sterling Griffin. Okay, cool. I don't know who that is, but um, very cool. Um, very cool. Yeah, Sterling's system is uh, rock solid. The growth in your business um, is a testament to that. And yeah, really good job. Really good job at. Uh, putting together the process of reaching out and getting me to this point. Um, I get people hitting me up left and right all day mm. and I just brush them aside. Uh, obviously in this case, I was also ready, which was, which was huge, but you did everything um, right. So yeah, really good job. Sterling did a great job. Um, you're doing a great job. Yeah. You're only going to continue to grow. And uh, uh, so that's really, really exciting. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Well, you ready for the moment you've been waiting for <laughs> the, in, the sure. investment into the health and wealth blueprint. Sure. Let's do it. Awesome, brother. Cool. So over the course of the next three months, in order for you to actually start transforming your health and fitness and stepping into the new IR that we know and love, it is, Yay. <laughs> it is 2K overpayment. But if you want to take care of it in one payment today, we take 500 bucks off and it's 1.5K paid in full. And actually, I forgot you already put 100 bucks down. So it's actually only 1.9K overpayment or 1.4K paid in full, which is best for you. 
So uh, the 1.4K is for one payment for 90 days for yeah. weekly call uh, the membership area and uh, custom workout program, custom nutrition plan, weekly calls, monthly calls, open access to me and the community. Yeah, I'll do the 1.4K for 90 days, one payment, and uh, I can uh, send, send me the link. I can pay right now. Cool. Let's do it together. So you can see my screen, correct? 